I want to question uh, the ability of the international manufacturers of products, um, how they can put guarantees on um, first line product. This is where we're being beta tested, we're the, the guinea pigs for this product. It's never been done in the world before. Um, I worked in computers for many years and when they brought out CD-ROMs, they were going to be forever the storage capacity device and within five years they failed. Then they brought out mod drives and other drives because they had to, they were going to be the next best thing. Nothing is forever if it's man-made and how can we guarantee the security of country for our, our younger generations when it's going underwater tables, it's going near sensitively cultural lands, it's going on very fragmented natural resource management spaces that are already under duress. And how can we be excluded from that country for the next 100,000 years when we don't even have access to country today appropriately? Yet this is clearly not going to be a place you're going to want to go to because it's so, such a horrendous product. Yet we're talking about it like we're storing marbles and we're not, we're storing something that's very dangerous and yet proven and why are we putting our hand up to take the world's rubbish when no one else is if it's so secure? I want to say openly and loudly to the international marketplace, the voices internationally that they don't have the authority to make those decisions. We've come full circle in the business of Aboriginal affairs in Australia where we now agree that the removal of country was a key element of dispossession. This to me is another element of removal of country. I have the birthright authority to raise my voice around this topic because of my ancestral connections to country. Yet I can't be heard in all of the so-called political elements now that are involved. There's a whole department that's funded. There's a whole road gang traveling the country, bringing food and free food and the trinkets and berries of things gone past to create an interest level around the discussion that basically is about, again, the removal of country. This element of the nuclear waste dump is but one piece of that. And as we know, it'll never go away if we allow this to happen because it'll be the, uh, the straw that breaks the camel's back, the thin edge of the wedge. Once it's here, it's already there. So what are you complaining about? We need to be loud around this now to say that there are a lot of people here who do not want the world's waste in our backyards. And especially around the really important sacred places in Central Australia where the water tables are and especially around these places where our cultural practice has been so adversely affected by previous legislation, yet here we go again. I don't see it much dis different to the removal of language, children and country, and the same authority was used then that they had the lack of authority. It's just taken them 200 years to figure out that they'd wronged it. In 200 years' time, are we going to be sitting around the table, our kids, and our grandchildren saying they got it wrong, just like we did the first time with Aboriginal people and the First Nations people of the world. We're not going to sit quiet on this now. We are educated. We do listen. We do connect and we do share our information together. And that's important to understand. They got away with it the first time because they could divide and rule. They could split us up. They could move us around. They created legislation so that we couldn't speak language. They removed our children so that we couldn't educate our children about how to act on country and how to be appropriate around country. So from a historical perspective, this is the same as what's happened in the past. It's just a different topic. It's the same lack of authority being overused and, and being steamrolled over us to say, you must comply. You must comply to this discussion. There's no investment in the alternative solution, which is not to generate this rubbish in the first place and to create a society that has a longer picture of the, view, the world than a 10 or 20 year cycle.